A man from Plymouth just broke a fishing record set 64 years ago. It happened this week during a trip to Mille Lacs when he reeled in a monster muskie weighing 55 pounds. David Schumann spoke with him about the historic haul. The significance of the achievement hasn't fully sunk in yet, Nolan Sprengler says. On this Thanksgiving, though, he does know one thing. I'm thankful for uh, being to celebrate this with all my friends and family. In truth, the entire muskie fishing community is now celebrating what Nolan did. On Monday night, he and his friends chiseled through ice to get their boat on Lake Mille Lacs one last time this season. There was a bite. So I got a thump, set the hook, and told my buddies it was a pretty nice one. I was reeling in and got... It got really nice, and I was yelling to Kevin to get the net. It took two of them to hold the muskie for a picture. The fish measured 57 and 3 quarter inches long with a 29 inch girth. That's a unicorn. That's a fish that I don't think anybody's seen on Mille Lacs. Thomas Allen with In Fisherman Magazine says the guys did the right thing by working for the next hour to release the muskie. Unfortunately, it wasn't going to happen, so Nolan decided to bring it in and go for the record. He found a big enough scale at a UPS store of all places. Walked it in through a 9 a.m. customer line and it weighed 55 pounds and 14.8 ounces and the, the previous record is 54 pounds. It was crazy. Now no one's waiting on two things. The paperwork officially confirming the Minnesota state record and the mount from the taxidermist to preserve it. It's still surreal. It's just, I spent so much time going for this fish with my friends and just the last day, last hour like that, Thanksgiving, all these phone calls, it's just, yeah, it's, um, yeah. David Schumann, WCCO 4 News. Nolan called this a journey for he and his friends because catching a record setting fish has been their goal for years. Nolan still wants to set a catch and release record and continue fishing in professional walleye tournaments.